dear viewers today's lecture is for class 12 mathematics and the topic is inverse trigonometric functions let me briefly explain here a function as you know that a function is a special type of relation in which no two ordered pairs have the same first entry let's have a clear idea for this function by means of this arrow diagram let me consider here a set a with the elements x1 x2 x3 another set b with the elements y1 y2 let me write here the association like x1 is associated to y1 x2 is associated to y2 and x3 is associated to y2 and writing the relation r is equal to set of these ordered pairs x1 y1 another ordered pair x2 y2 third ordered pair is x3 y2 look at the ordered pairs of this relation none of the two ordered pairs have the same first entry so clearly we can say that this relation it is a function actually we are going to discuss inverse trigonometric functions for this let me write here trigonometric ratios you know that these trigonometric ratios behave like functions actually these trigonometric ratios are functions trigonometric functions so let us discuss the domain and these trigonometric functions are sine cosine function then we have tangent function and accordingly they are reciprocals you can write here cosec then sec and cot the domain of this sine function is set of all reals as you know that this sine function is defined for all real values of the angle involved so we can see that the domain of this function is set of all reals and the range of this function is the closed interval minus 1 1 similarly the domain of this cosine function is set of all reals and the range is the closed interval minus 1 1 now ab hum iska discuss karenge what is the domain of this tangent function the domain of tangent function is set of all reals except odd multiples of pi by 2 odd multiples of pi by 2 and this n belongs to set of integers and the range of this tangent function is set of all reals now the question is why we say that the domain of this tangent function is all reals except odd multiples of pi by 2 let me write here a tangent function tan theta we will discuss why we restrict these numbers from the domain of this tangent function you know that this tan theta it can be written as sin theta over cos theta and let us say that theta is equal to 90 degree pi by 2 so therefore we can write tan pi by 2 it can be written as sin pi by 2 i am replacing this theta by pi by 2 similarly cos of pi by 2 you know that sin 90 is equal to 1 and cos 90 is 0 that means we can say this function is not defined at theta equal to pi by 2 similarly when you use theta equal to 3 pi by 2 again the function is not defined when you use theta equal to 5 pi by 2 the function is not defined similarly for all odd multiples of pi by 2 tan theta is not defined similarly we can determine the domain of this cos the reciprocal of the sine function that is cosec similarly sec and cot jo aapne already padha hai class 11 mein aap aapne already padha hoga hai what is the domain of cosec then sec then cot function now as you are already aware of the fact that a function is said to be invertible if it is bijective that means it should be one one and on to function now let's have a look on the graph of the sine function
it is 0 this is quadrant number 1 pi by 2 it is pi then we have 3 pi by 2 this is 2 pi these are the negative angles minus pi by 2 this is minus pi and so on draw the graph of this psi function you know this the curve will be like this the highest value is 1 then it decreases from 1 to 0 at pi further decreases from 0 to minus 1 and in fourth quadrant it increases from minus 1 to 0 Simil similarly if the angle is negative graph will be like this right now let us discuss whether it is it possible to determine the inverse of a sine function look at the graph of this function or simply we can draw here an arrow diagram to check whether this sine function is 1 1 or not let us say it is set x and set y let me start these with these angles minus pi by 2 it is 0 it is pi by 2 then we have pi we have 3 pi by 2 then 2 pi and that here the angles are minus 1 0 minus 1 and all real numbers from this minus 1 to 1 so when you put theta equal to minus pi by 2 the value will be minus 1 so minus 1 by pi by 2 is associated to minus 1 similarly sin 0 is equal to 0 association will be like this pi by 2 sin of pi by 2 is equal to 1 association is like this sin pi is equal to 0 association is like this sin 3 pi by 2 is equal to minus 1 association is like this sin 2 pi is equal to 0 association is like this that means that this arrow diagram clearly shows that this sine function is not 1 1 clearly it is 1 2 because every element of this set this codomain will possess the pre image in this domain so if this sine function is not 1 1 so how can we determine the inverse of this sine function in this domain in this domain the set of real numbers sine function is not invertible let's have a look on the graph of this function if you go for a horizontal line test the line intersects the graph at two points so we can say that this sine function is not 1 1 or in other words let me substitute here two values for this x x1 and x2 x1 and x2 that means i am substituting two different values for this x for this x and this will clearly indicate f of x1 and this indicates f of x2 that means on substituting two different values for this x we are getting the same values the same values for this f of x that means f of x1 equals f of x2 so we can say that this sine function is not invertible in its domain so inverse nikalne ke liye hum kya karenge what is the procedure to get the inverse of this sine function we will do one thing we will restrict the domain we will restrict the domain of the sine function look here if you consider a function f from x to y and the function is 1 1 on to function 1 1 on to function then there exists some another function g from y to x yahan pe hum likhenge say that f of x equals y and the function is 1 1 on to if the function is 1 1 on 2 that means the function is clearly invertible function let us say that f is a function from x to y say that f of x equals y then there exists some another function g from y to x which implies say that g of y is equal to x in the same i will denote this g by f inverse that means if f is a function from x to y that means f of x equals y this implies that f of inverse 
f inverse of y is equal to x. That is, we say that f is an invertible function. In the same way, we will determine the inverse of this sine function. We will do one thing. We will restrict the domain of this sine function. Now draw another graph for the sine function. It is minus pi by 2. This is 0. It is pi by 2. And this one is pi. Draw the graph. We will do one thing. We will restrict the graph. We will restrict the domain of the sine function. We will restrict it from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Look here. If we do this, we will restrict the graph, the domain of this function from 0 to pi. Again, you will get this portion. When you go for horizontal line test, the line will intersect the graph at two points. Therefore, the function doesn't remain 1, 1. So we will do one thing. We will restrict the graph of the sine function like this. Go for the horizontal line test. So this line intersects the graph exactly at one point. So we can say that the function is 1, 1 in this interval from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Therefore, we can say in this domain, in this restricted interval, sine function is invertible. Look here. Then we can say sine. Since we have restricted the domain, so the domain of this sine function is minus closed interval minus pi by 2, pi by 2 and the range is minus 1 and 1. Similarly for cosine function. Cos ke liye is tarah se restrict karenge domain ko. We will go from if we will draw the graph of this cosine function it is like yaka y axis then we have this x axis minus pi by 2 0 it is pi by 2 then we have pi we have 3 pi by 2 another quadrant is this one the angle is 2 pi it is 1 and minus 1 the graph at 90 is cosine is 0. So it further decreases to minus. Graph will be like this. 3 pi by 2 pi if it is 0 banega. And at 2 pi it is equal to 1. Similarly, yaan se aise graph aayega. Go for the horizontal line test. Again, the function is not 1, 1. So we will restrict the domain from 0 to pi. 0 to pi. So the restricted domain to make the cosine function invertible is 0 to pi. So cos will be like this. 0 to pi to minus 1 and 1. Right? In this domain, we can find the inverse of the sine function and cosine function. Further, we will go for tangent function and their reciprocals. So sine restricted domain is minus pi by 2, pi by 2 to minus 1, 1. For cos, it is 0 to pi to minus 1 and 1. In these intervals, we can say that sine and cosine functions are invertible. Now look here, as a function is invertible if it is 1, 1 and on 2. So f of x equals y implies f inverse of y equals x. Now look here, this interval, this minus pi by 2, pi by 2 and the closed interval 0, pi, these are known as Principal, principal branch, principal value branch for sine and cosine functions. 
and the values obtained in these two in these branches in in this interval and in this interval are called principal values now if sin x is equal to y and this time sin is 1 1 and 1 2 so that is this sign is a bijective function therefore we can determine its inverse definitely and this will definitely imply that sin inverse of y is equal to x now let's have an example here we need to determine the principal value for this sin inverse 1 over root 2 let sin inverse 1 over root 2 let us say it is equal to y so we can say that by definition of inverse of the sine function that means sin y is equal to 1 over root 2 and you know that sin 1 over sin pi by 4 equals 1 over root 2 this implies that Clearly, if sin y equals 1 over root 2 and you know that sin of pi by 4 is equal to 1 over root 2, that means these two things are equal. Sin y equals sin of pi by 4, which implies that y is definitely equal to pi by 4. Look at this sin, look at this pi by 4. It belongs to this interval, definitely. The closed interval minus.